Another question often asked me as a priest and confessor, how do I do a good examination of conscience? That's what we do before we go to confession. Again, I'm going to reach into the genius, the jewels of the Eastern Catholic churches to recommend some things. First of all, the Ten Commandments are a very good guide for an examination of conscience. Now, when you look at the Ten Commandments, though, you have to take them in a kind of an umbrella way, like a holistic way. For example, thou shalt not kill. You might think to yourself, well, I didn't kill anybody, so I didn't commit that sin. However, you've got to look at it more like an umbrella. The Ten Commandments are like an umbrella. There's things underneath them. So, thou shalt not kill. Well, there's more than one way to kill a person. You can kill them by the thoughts in your head, their character, their personhood. How am I going to deal with that person anymore? They're out of here. I don't like them. Or you can kill their reputation by gossiping about them, criticizing them, being envious of them. So there's a lot of ways we can kill a person, not just physically. So we ask ourselves, did we do any of that? And you, you approach each Ten Commandments, each of the Ten Commandments that way. It's kind of an, an umbrella way, like what's underneath them? What are different ways to steal? What are different ways to, to covet? In other words, to lust, to envy. That's a good rule of thumb is the Ten Commandments. Also remember, with each one of those commandments, think of what maybe you didn't do. Let's go back to thou shalt not kill. Have you done all that you really could be doing to stop killing, such as abortion? You know, we tend to look at other people and say, look at them, that's terrible, abortionists and all that. But what are we doing or not doing for that? Can we think to ourselves, you know, I could have prayed more for the stopping of abortion. I could have written more letters to our congressmen. I could have involved myself in more demonstrations, more activities to help women not to be fearful or selfish and choose abortion. So there are sins and neglect as well. So ways we could kill someone and ways we can actually neglect in, in stopping killing of various ways, whether it's abortion or person's character and so on. So the Ten Commandments are a good guide for the examination of conscience. Now the Eastern Catholic churches, we always do things in a bell curve. We kind of lead up to things. There's a preparatory period. There's a thing itself and there's a sort of a coming out of it, kind of like a roller coaster, a bell curve. We actually have a rite of preparation for confession in the Eastern churches, that's right. Certain prayers we say, along with a long, extensive, very deep in examination of conscience. Then there's the confession itself, and then there's the prayers after confession. So it's like a bell curve. We just don't charge into things. So our tendency in our culture is to charge into something in and out. We're very compartmentalized. That's not good, it's not human, it's not spiritual. You gotta use the bell curve. That's real strong in the Eastern Catholic spirituality. Move into something, prepare through prayer, meditation, the thing itself, the sacrament like confession, and then coming out of it with prayers afterwards. To help you with that, I'm gonna recommend two very good sources. One is called the Publican's Prayer Book. The Publican's Prayer Book, it's put out by Sophia Press, Sophia Press, Boston, Massachusetts. Wonderful when it comes to confession. Wonderful examination of conscience. You get this whole rite of preparation for confession, for Eucharist, or everything. It's a wonderful, wonderful book of prayer. And if you want to know more about the Eastern Catholic churches and their spirituality, but excellent for confession. Publican's Prayer Book, Sophia Press, Boston, Massachusetts. Another one is the Byzantine Daily Worship. This is also very good for confession, examination of conscience, and learning how to pray and learn more about the spirituality of the Eastern Catholic Churches. This one's put out by Alleluia Press. So Byzantine Catholic, Byzantine Daily Worship, Byzantine Daily Worship, put out by Alleluia Press. Publican's Prayer Book, put out by Sophia Press, Boston, Massachusetts. Two sources I would highly recommend in addition to the Ten Commandments.